Hello my friends, today we are back in Luminar Neo and we are going to batch edit some photos. I have these photos over here. This is photos from uh, a year ago of my daughter when we went apple picking. And I really like these photos, but I don't know what I was thinking while I edit them. They're all wore way too warm tone and I just don't like the colors a lot. Um, I love her expressions, but the colors are off in my opinion. And I don't have the raw files anymore because I never keep my raw files. I just edit the photos I like and then I discard of the raw files just because I take hundreds and hundreds of photos every day. And, um, you know, I don't have the space to hold all my photos. So I will just keep the JPEGs that are edited. And I could go and fix the white balance and try to fix them. But I think the easiest way to you know, fix these images is to edit them into black and white. And that's what we will do. So I will edit this one image. And then once I edit this one image, we will apply the adjustments to all the other images. So let's see how we do that. I will go into edit. I will go to, let's see, first I want to go into black and white and convert it to black and white. And it's already looking better. Now I want to brighten her skin tones just to stand out a little bit more from the background and skin tones are yellow and red because we have like orangey toned skins. So you see if I increase the reds, we'll bring more detail into her sweater on her face. So I will do that and then I'll do the same with whites. I do not want to clip my, uh, I'll do the same with yellows, I'm sorry. I do not want to clip my whites. So if you click J, it will show your clipping warnings. So right now I am not clipping anything, so we are good, something like that. And then let's see, greens are gonna affect a little bit of the foliage, but not too much, cyans, the same kind. Blue, we don't have any blues in this image or magentas, we don't have any of that either. So that is looking good so far. Now I want to go to develop and maybe add some contrast some smart contrast and I like that. And then also I want to, let's see, we'll click J on the keyboard to have the clipping warnings. And if I move the whites, you'll see we're starting to clip. So I'm gonna move that down. I don't wanna lose any details on her nose or face. By the way, the image looks a little fuzzy, but it is a very sharp image. It's just the Luminar Neo takes a long time to load. So I did that with the whites and then let's see if we move the blacks. We are clipping. We don't want to, I don't want to dark. I don't want to make it like a very high contrast black and white. I want something kind of like in the middle, something like that. That is looking good. Next, we will add some enhance and some accent. That will just open the shadows even more. You see it brings more detail into this corner. And I don't mind adding a lot more accent that I normally do when I work with black and whites. When I work with color, I try to not add too much. So let's see what the details look like on the face. We're still looking good. And I think that is pretty much our edit. Now we have to batch edit the rest of the image. Fit to screen, go to our catalog. And now I will right click on this image that I edited. I'll go to adjustments and copy adjustments. Then I'll do Command A to select all the other images and then right click Adjustments, Paste Adjustments. And this saves me so much time because now I don't have to go and individually edit every single photo. I just edit one of them. And since it's the same subject and the same kind of environment and lighting conditions, they should all look pretty much the same. So let's see how it did. I'm going to start with this image and that is looking great. I wanna make sure I'm not clipping the white, so I will, because it looks a little bright behind her. So let's see if we click on J, we are good. We are crushing a little bit of the blacks here, but that's okay. So we are good with this one. Let's move to the next image. This is looking great where I don't see any kind of clipping. The blacks look good, the whites look good. The, so we are good with that one. This is the one we did originally edited, so it looks great. Then we have this one. This one looks good as well. And let's see. That one looks all right. 
and let's see two more that one is good and this one is good as well so this is how you batch edit images that you have from the same sessions as long as you have the same kind of colors and lighting conditions i hope this was helpful and you learned something new thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing and i'll see you in my next video